new year new hair right <laughs> before today's video as you can see i have got a brand new wig but this company did reach out to me and they kindly gifted me this stunning wig and we're going to apply it together and we're going to trim the lace, style it, see what we can do with it. And the brand is Jessie's Wig. Also before I go any further, this video is also kindly sponsored by them as well. So thank you so, so much for that as well. But we're just going to get into it. So... They of course kindly gifted me this beautiful wig here is absolutely gorgeous so this is a 22 inch wig and what i'm also going to do so i don't get anything wrong is i'm actually going to go onto their website and just let you know like the name and everything else about the wig so it's an ombre ash blonde wavy hair human hair wig and it obviously has a lace front as well lace front wigs are the best they're honestly is so so good so as you can see like the lace on this wig as well is invisible it has a dark root as well which i also really like because i know myself i have a natural dark root and you can't really see it that much at the minute because it is grown out way way bad but i feel like a nice like a nice melted dark root into blonde just kind of looks more natural in a wig and i also love the fact that there's like wee money pieces at the front because that's also what i like myself as well so just so it gives a wee bit of brightness around the front of the face also the lace is that perfect that you can barely see it on my hands isn't that crazy and this is of course like the hand plucked hairline there's also baby hairs as well with the wig but then of course you can obviously feel free to create your own baby hairs also and of course lastly we just have the center middle parting look how nice the color of that hair looks you can definitely really see it there actually it's really pretty isn't it but you can also kind of have any part you want whether it's to the side or whatever <laughs> Oh, and inside, inside is what I was really chuffed about. So we of course have the two clips at the side. One kind of that goes to the, kind of like the crown of the head. There's one back here as well, which clips right underneath there at the nape. And then we also have like the two wee hooks here. If I kind of bring these in a wee bit closer. This is obviously just there to kind of tighten the wig if you want to make it a wee bit looser, a wee bit tighter. Obviously that's just where I have it clipped in and that's perfectly fine. I can obviously bring it in a wee bit tighter or looser if need be. Um, it just kind of makes the the tightness of the wig kind of customizable. But then we have this elasticated band. Not all wigs come with one of these bands and I love it. To actually apply the wig itself, these are very, very handy and especially if you're a beginner, these elasticated bands on wigs are so, so easy to apply the wig and just for that extra bit of security, I also feel like if you're a beginner with wearing wigs, um, there's always that fear about blowing off. <laughs> I can assure you now, your wig ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but it's it's just kind of keep your mind at ease and just to, you know, add that wee bit of extra security and secureness. But yeah, and also it's so, so comfortable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to apply the wig and then we'll get to trim in the lace and we're going to style it. Also, whenever this wig came, it came with two wig caps, by the way, and also one of these wee baby hair bands. So I probably won't need these because I don't really like doing my baby hairs or whatever. But obviously, if you know, you know, this is for kind of like securing the wig if you're gluing it down, securing the baby hairs, etc. Now that that's basically all like secured around my head, I'm just going to take just wee clips to actually clip the hair out of the way for me to now go in and actually trim the lace. Alrighty, so now you're just trimming this lace because it's all tied up out of the way or like clipped out of the way. I'm kind of able to like see more of a bit of a guide as to where I'm going to be trimming around my hairline. Um, so you can like definitely see like how well and how nice that hairline is it's so so good so i'm just going to take like these pair of scissors i usually use my hairdressing scissors but i seem to misplace them and i don't know where they're at so i'm just going to use these wee ones here and obviously please be careful i think that's self-explanatory so what i usually like to do is first of all i'll take that excess lace off because it's obviously down quite low and i don't want it to get in my eyes or whatever so i like to just kind of take 
the excess off and then what I also like to do is I like to do one side at a time. If I kind of bring these up a wee bit, is that a wee bit better? So you can actually see the hair <laughs> and I also zoomies in also so whenever I'm trimming the lace I like to just go in like quite quick small wee motions and literally just higgledy piggledy you might be thinking like why higgledy piggledy that might look like a mess but because the lace is so invisible you won't see it but also because I find that not everybody's hairline is completely perfect like nobody has like a like, completely perfect straight line unless you've been to Turkey but that's why I like to do it kind of higgledy piggledy so it looks a wee bit more natural. I like to just make just one wee incision just at the front basically where the parting is and I'm gonna do I think maybe this side first I'm next going to be using the Squarescoff Got To Be Glued Gel. I usually like to use the Squarescoff Got To Be like Free Spray. That stuff is so much quicker for especially applying to the hairline to actually stick and glue down your wigs. If you're just wanting something cheap and cheerful and affordable from like the drugstore or whatever. Um, but of course, like feel free to use like actual wig glue. <laughs> But this just kind of does the job for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pill. wonder what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to push it back. And I'm going to apply some of this glue. Just to where I know where the hairline is going to be in the wig. And I'm literally just going to use my finger to apply this. Because I'm a professional. <laughs> I usually don't like to glue my wigs the whole way down around here by the way. I don't know why I never have. I just kind of feel like if you have a round here kind of glued and at least to your temples it should be fine. Or it maybe depends also like on what way you're going to be wearing your hair as well. I suppose like it all depends on like how anal you are. So it just apply them. But, and I don't like to apply a lot either by the way because you're obviously wanting to wait until it gets like slightly tacky before you bring the wig back to actually stick it to it and it does dry down clear. Okay so then we just bring it forward and oh do you know what actually screw that I'm gonna use this. This is I knew this might come in handy for something. Wow. Wow. I really make things look difficult, don't I? Someone's telling me it's not supposed to look like this. This is the first time I've used one of these, by the way. Can you tell? Yes, we can tell, Emma. <laughs> oh dear me. But basically, if you're somebody that likes to obviously like really like slay your edges and all that, um, these come in relatively handy. I'm actually gonna keep that wee hairband on and just take a pair of tongs and I'm gonna try and style the wig a wee bit. So obviously, this is a real hair wig, you can apply heat, but my advice would be not to apply a lot of heat. Um, just kind of treat it like your own hair, but with a wee bit more TLC. And of course, like I also have just uh, spritzed it there with a wee bit of heat protector as well. Of course, you want to do that. But I'm just going to see if I can do like a wee bit more. So I'm just pushing my camera back. <laughs> and then of course, when I'm curling that, like I won't leave the heat on it for too long.
like that's it completely stuck down I think some of the hair has actually stuck yeah some of the hair is actually stuck to the hair gel as well but oh well no biggie <laughs> honestly see whenever you start wearing wigs it really does take you a while to actually like perfect it and I still ain't there Oh, do you see how this side's curled more than this side? Why does that happen? Do you think is it because <laughs> Do you think is it because I started to curl my hair straight away as soon as I turned the curler on and it hadn't heated up yet? May it come on. This really, really. What do we think? <laughs> if I stand up to show you. Sorry, this, is that a wee bit better? I think I'll have to like straighten the ends a wee bit actually, or do something with them, I'm not too sure. Maybe add a wee bit of oil or whatever. But if I even bring this other side round actually, just to show you, like the ends of the wig are so, so nice. They do like a tad frizzy though. It's literally just because of the way I've styled it. So it's nothing to do with the wig. But you know the way like some wigs can just look really, really clumpy um, at the bottom and they just look so bulky. Like this isn't. Like it just looks so nice and like actually realistic. If they weren't frizzy. Hold on, will I try? What way is that going? I just kind of try and straighten out a wee bit. Does that look all right? <laughs> so, like, that's just what the hairline looks like. Like, obviously, as I was saying, like, I don't stick this side down, but you can tell the way the, like, the dark root and my dark root and my hair is so, so similar, and I love that. So do you know what? Like, if a gust of wind came and it went, whoo, nobody would know. <laughs> Again, unless you're like right up in my personal space, but no, that's why I don't usually like to glue the whole way around because it's just to me it's just unnecessary. But if you want to, knock yourself out. But like, even at the part in, like, you can literally not see my hair at all, it's just it's seamless, it's absolutely seamless. You cannot even see that lace at all. I love the fact that like I'm able to like pull the hair like behind my ear and everything and it just looks so good <laughs> and I'll even pull like a wee bit of the wig down just like so and it just so it kind of looks as if it's coming from here you know what I mean? I must definitely um well I do a wee bit of a curl here on this side because that's kind of starting to bum me off a wee bit. <laughs> um, what way would I do it? Right, I'm gonna give this side a wee bit of a curl <laughs> because it was starting to annoy me there. Okay, let's see. But no, it looks so, so good, doesn't it? And I'll of course have this exact wigged, wigged. <laughs> I'll have this exact wig linked illicit down below for you with all the information and everything okay that doesn't look too bad does it does it i don't know why i said that like that but yeah that that <laughs> that looks stunning mate <laughs> beautiful absolutely beautiful i freaking love it i love it i love I love the color. I absolutely love the color. So that's it from me, guys. Thank you so so much for watching, and of course, a massive thank you to Jessie's Wig for sponsoring today's video and gifting me this beautiful wig. You'll definitely see me wearing this wig more often. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning, and of course, I will have a direct link to the website and this exact wig link to list it down below as well. I was on the website, hold on to have a wee sneak peek, a wee nosy if you will, onto the website. I think they do like really good deals by the way. 
um, like flash seals and they obviously have so many different shapes and hair sizes and colours so yeah that's it from me guys thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one I feel like Stifler's sister I, I was gonna say Stifler's mum but I'm not that old just yet but no I love it freaking love it <laughs> bury me in this hair <laughs> wow